Hey, what's up, Zach here. And I think the most interesting thing to come out of the tennis shoe space this year is the Nike Court Zoom Next and its apparent replacement of the Nike GP Turbo. And although both have some pretty awesome tech in them, they're pretty different setup shoes, so I wanted to give a comparison of them in case you're looking to buy the Next or stock up on the Turbos. So let's get into them. And like always, these comparisons are out of 20 points. That's four categories, five points each. Speed, comfort, durability, and playability, plus fit. In terms of speed, actually both of these shoes can haul pretty good. The next feels a lot lighter and more minimal than the Turbo on foot, but they're actually both pretty substantially built shoes. The GP Turbo gets most of its speed from that PebEx plate that runs the entire length of the shoe. It gives the shoe a lot of propulsion, and that combined with the full length zoom makes the Turbo a setup that just gives a lot back to your foot in terms of speed, even though it is on the heavier side. The Quartz Zoom Next, on the other hand, gets most of its snap from the tread bridge here and the fly plate. It's a much stiffer design, kind of like the Jordan 35 or Jordan 36. So the shoe is just much more efficient than most others in that it enhances your foot's own muscle power to create speed, both when moving back and forth as well as from a dead stop. So for speed, both the Next and the Turbo are easy five out of fives, with the caveat that the Next is better in tight spaces for speed versus the turbos, which get faster and faster the more and more court you have to cover. Comfort, however, is a completely different story. Because the GP Turbo, to me, is the most plush tennis shoe on the market. Unless you have a bunion or a really wide foot or just hate a more maximal upper, the turbos are like a bear hug around your foot, especially with the full-length zoom, then full-length airbag on top of that. It's like walking on a pillow. And following in its footsteps, not really, the Quartz Zoom Next is not any of that. The Quartz Zoom Next is kind of hard as a rock, and some people will like that because it's so supportive, but for most, this is a more performance first setup, and if you don't have a rubber cup or an insert in these, you're gonna be feeling that hard midsole pretty quick. Plus, the fly plate on the outside is gonna need a little bit more break-in for wide footers, so there's that too. So for comfort, the GP Turbo gets another easy five out of five for me, and the Quartz Zoom Next a two out of five, because with an insert, they really aren't all that bad, and they are very breathable, so it isn't all bad bad for these in terms of comfort, plus the Zoom Turbo unit and the forefoot. It's just that intrinsically, these aren't meant for comfort, they're meant for more performance. Durability is an interesting category with both of these. And the Turbos aren't the most durable uppers on the planet. They're relatively exposed for hardcore sliders, so you have to watch out for that. But when I did the four month test on them, the midsole and tread held up really well, even to somebody using them on a daily basis. But in contrast to the Turbo uppers, the Quartz Zoom Next has one of the best drag guards on the market right now, and the rubber is just as tough as any of the better durability-focused treads we've seen on the market from any brand. Plus, with the harder foam, plus the fly plate, and more sturdy materials, the next can just hold its own pretty well. So for durability, I'm giving the GP Turbo a four out of five, just because the exposed uppers, and the Quartz Zoom Next, five out of five. Playability was a tough one for me because both of them have similar benefits, but they go about them in totally different ways. Like I said before, they both are really quick, but the next corners and grips better, and the turbos pick up speed after the turn better. The next reaction times are amazing, but the GP Turbo is like a trampoline. They honestly both play exceptionally well for the right player. The Turbo is heavier feeling, but more supportive and resilient underfoot. The next is quicker, a little more agile, and gets better the more aggressive you move in them. So for playability, both of these get a five out of five for me. It's just that five out of five represents much different playing styles for each shoe. And before I get to the fit comparison, I'll just say if you love the GP Turbo, and stock up on the GP Turbo. I do have a link in the description below where there's still a lot in stock. But if this video should get anything across, it's that these are just wildly different shoes. And that brings me to the fit. Honestly, both of these fit pretty much the same in terms of width. Whichever size you wear in one is gonna be good for the other. Neither are the best for wide footers, and it's usually safe to go up a half size for both if you're wide. And if anything, the next runs just a hair longer. The biggest difference in fit comes in the heel. If you have pain in that area, I'd personally rather have the turbo because without a good orthotic in the next, you actually may start aching. And I'd also love to hear your thoughts on kind of what you plan to do. The turbos are a really popular model, and if I were Nike, I'd think long and hard about discontinuing that line. The next is a fun playing shoe for sure, but it just isn't the turbo. And speaking of, if you want to see a deeper dive into the new Nike Quartz Zoom Next, make sure you click in this video up above and subscribe down below. Respect your rubber and foam. I'll see you in the next video.